So this is Jan 2008 and in Jan 2008 the first question we have is obviously a Venn diagram sum. Now we have to draw a Venn diagram. Obviously there is A, B and C. So when we draw the Venn diagram, let me make it big. This is question number A. So we have this is set A, this is set B and this is set C. The first question is set A is 96. So this entire circle which is representing set A that is 96. So set B is 93, set C is 93. All of this refers to the entire set. You have to remember that. So you always start from all the intersection A, intersection B, intersection C right here. So do we have 90 like all three wines? So this this particular region is going to be 90. Let me use a different color here. So this is let this be 90. So we got this. The next one is 93 like A and C. Now when you talk about A and C, we are talking about A intersection C. A intersection C is this entire region. So if this entire region is 93 and this is 90, so this should be 3. So this is done. 91 like B and C. So B and C intersection is this entire region. So if 91 like B and C, so this should be only 1 because 90 plus 1 is 91. We got this down and A and B is 92. So this is A and B is this one. This is 92. If this is 90, this is 2. Now let's get back. Now the entire circle A is 96. If this entire circle is 96, we already have 90, 93, plus 2, 95. So this one should be 1. Then the entire circle B, the set B is 93. If this set B is 93, this should be 0 because this is already 90 plus 2 92 plus 1 93 and set C is 96 so 93 94 this should be 2 96 now remember this universal set they have all together 100 people here so from 100 if we remove all of these we'll get what is remaining so 100 minus we have 93 95 96 97 98 99 so 100 minus 99 this should be 1 so this is the Venn diagram as a matter of fact we should give a little universal set symbol here little e here it helps so this is the Venn diagram so the rest should be very straightforward B's find the probability now we are in back to the basic probability that I mentioned where we have to find the event divided by sample space so the first question none of the three wines so we know the sample space meaning the total outcome is altogether 100 people now the event is none like any of the three wines so there's only one person who does not like any of the sets that is 1 by 100 in question number 3 we have to like wine A but not wine B Whenever you have something like this, this refers to in set as intersection prime. When you have an intersection prime, you know what that looks in the Venn diagram. If this is A and this is B, A intersection B prime means this region only. So wine A but not wine B means A intersection B prime, that means this region here. So there are four people here where we remove B from the A set. So this is four. So probability of A but not B meaning A intersection B prime you do not have to express it in set notation but it helps if we use it because it's easier to write so this is 4 divided by sample space is 100 question number D any wine in the survey except C so that means it can be any wine except C so this is the C region C set any wine except C is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 0 that is 3 so that should be probability of we need A we need B but except C so we can write it as uh, okay let me not use any set notation let me write any but C it would be 3 divided by 100 if you wanted to write this in set notation then it would be a and b together except for c so it can be written as a union b 
but from a union b remove c intersection prime anything intersection prime means remove but this is a bit uh, out of the ordinary so you don't have to use this notation the next one is exactly two now exactly two refers to a and b but this region refers to all three so exactly two means only a and b so only a and b refers to this region only a and c exactly two refers to this region you have to understand if you include this all three intersection also includes here so only a and b and only a and c means here only b and c refers to here so it can be if you want exactly two this is going to be only a and b which is two plus only a and c which is this plus only b and c which is going to be this so this probability is going to be probability exactly 2 so it should be 2 plus 3 plus 1 by 100 which is going to be 6 by 100 now the final one given so let me do it here F given now given that the person of the survey likes wine A remember this whenever this information is given this means the total is given so previously the total was 100 people but now the total is given A so given A in A there are altogether 96 people so it means the total is going to be 96 now instead of 100 now out of those 96 we have to find the probability that the person likes C that means C conditional A C given A you have to give this line as a vertical line so in this A set how many like C if you go to this A set how many of them like C so 93 people like C so it's going to be 93 so that's question number F the previous question of this paper was a general basic concept probability sum this one is the probability distribution table but before that we have another general concept probability sum so a tetrahedral dice a dice with four faces that's a tetrahedral dice usually dice have six faces a tetrahedral dice have four faces two fair tetrahedral die one red and one blue have faces numbered 0 1 2 3 so you have a die which has number 0 1 2 3 so one red so if this is the red die so this is a tetrahedral die so it has four faces so suppose at one phase you have zero written on it and another phase you have one written on it on the other side you have two written on it at the base you have three written on it and there is another die like this which is blue so similarly here also you have suppose at one face you have zero written on it one face one written on it there are three and then you have two so zero one two three so you have the numbers zero one two three so we have like this we have four numbers now if you think about the probability so altogether there are total of total outcome there are four items four numbers just like throwing a die so if you want to find the probability of zero there's only one zero event is one and altogether there are four numbers four sample space four outcomes so one by four similarly the probability of getting a one is also one by four the probability of getting a two is also one by four the probability of getting a three is also one by four so each of them have the same probability by the basic concept of throwing a die so the dies are rolled and the numbers face down on the two dies are recorded it means you just throw the die and you just record the number the random variable r is the score on the red die so r for red red score and the random variable b is the score on the blue die so blue score so question number a says find the probability of on r the score would be 3 and on B the blue score would be 0 
no matter what happens, each of them have the same probability, 1 by 4. So getting a 3, there's only one 3, so 1 by 4. So on the red, getting a 3 is 1 by 4. And rule of probability means multiply. Getting a 0 is also 1 by 4. So this is 1 by 4. If you multiply, you get 1 by 16. So the answer for A is 1 by 16. For B, you have to complete the table. They're saying that the random variable T is R multiplied by B. So all we have to do here is we multiply. So this one, 0 into 0 is 0. This one, 2 into 0 is 0. This one, r uh, blue is 3 and red is 0. So 0 into 3 is 0. This one, 1 into 0 is 0. This one, 1 into 1 is 1. So you're just multiplying the score. So then 1 into 3 is 3, then 2 into 0 is 0, then 2 into 1 is 2, then 2 into 2 is 4, then 2 into 3 is 6, then 3 into 0 is 0, 3 into 1 is 3, 3 into 2 is 6, and 3 into 3 is 9. So that's it. So we multiplied the uh, scores and this is what we get and this is the random variable t remember we are doing probability distribution table discrete probability distribution to be more accurate this is three marks now comes the main sum so this is the table and this is this is the main sum that we're going to talk about in this particular sum we have to find the probability and we can find the probability from the table here So in question number C, we have to find the probability, first of all, of getting a zero. If you count the sample space here, they're all together 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the sample space is 16. So out of that, how many times can you get a probability of zero? Zero is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are seven zeros here. So probability of getting a zero is 7 out of 16. 1 probability of 1 so how many ones do we have here there's only one one so one out of sample space is 16 so 1 by 16 that is the value of B then 4 how many fours do we have there's only one four so probability of getting a 4 is also 1 by 16 and then 9 there's also one 9 so probability of getting a 9 is 1 by 16 this is not a regular sum but the concept that we use for this particular uh, discrete probability distribution sum is we have to find the basic probability which means event divided by sample space answer should be restated a equals to 7 by 16 B equals to C equals to D all are equals to 1 by 16 once you have this table ready the next thing is finding the expected value and the variance the rule for finding the expected value is multiplying the random variable with the probability so 0 multiplied by the probability 7 by 16 you have to write it out plus 1 multiplied the probability of 1 by 16 plus 2 multiplied the probability of 1 by 8 uh, plus 3 multiplied by the probability of 1 by 8 plus 4 multiplied by the probability of C which is 1 by 16 plus 6 0 1 2 3 4 then 6 multiplied the probability of 1 by 8 and finally plus 9 multiplied by probability 1 by 16 so let's bring out the calculator zero into seven by sixteen is zero plus one by sixteen into one is one by 16 plus 2 into 1 by 8 is 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 plus 3 into 1 by 8 is 3 by 8 plus 4 into 1 by 16 is 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 plus 6 into 1 by 8 is 6 by 8 
plus 9 into 1 by 16 is 9 by 16. So the answer is 9 by 4. Next is E. In E we have to find the variance. So we have to multiply the square of this with the probability that's the formula and minus mean squared. So let me write down the formula for the variance. First of all we need let me do it separately E T squared. So 0 squared into probability that is 7 by 16 plus 1 squared into probability that is 1 by 16 plus 2 squared into probability is 1 by 8 plus 3 squared into probability that is 1 by 8 plus 4 squared into probability C is 1 by 16 plus there is no 5 after 4 we have 6 6 squared into probability is 1 by 8 plus 9 squared into probability is 1 by 16. That's that's what we do before we find the variance. So let's do the calculation. So this will be a pretty long calculation. So 0 squared, this is 0. 1 squared is 1. 1 into 1 by 16 is 1 by 16 plus 2 squared is 4. 4 into 1 by 8. 4 by 8 is half. So 1 by 2 plus 3 squared is 9. 9 into 1 by 8 is 9 by 8. So 9 by 8 plus uh, 4 squared is 16. 16 by 16 is 1 plus 6 squared is 36. 36 by 8 is 36 by 8 plus 9 squared is 81. So 81 by 16 is 81 by 16 and this is going to be 49 by 4 so this is 49 by 4 remember the variance is not done yet the formula for the variance is this is not x the random variable is t so the variance of t is going to be et squared minus mean squared so et squared is 49 by 4 minus mean expected value is 9 by 4 so this would be 9 by 4 whole squared so this would be this minus 9 squared is 81 so 81 by 4 squared is 16 so this would be 115 by 16 115 by 16